Are you ready to check out some of the most amazing animal hybrids in existence? In this video, we're going to show you 10 of the most amazing animal hybrids. For people who don't know, hybrid animals are those animals that are created when two different species of animals breed together. Some are adorable, some are freaky, but all these hybrids make for an interesting watch. These guys might be shocking at first sight, but they're just as awesome as they are weird. Some of them are so unique that you might think they're fake. Well, prepare to get your mind blown because these animals are 100% real. So without further ado, tune in and enjoy as we go through each one. Number 10, Eastern Coyote. Eastern Coyote is a hybrid between a coyote and a wolf. This hybrid is found in the northeastern United States and Canada. The eastern coyote has been known to interbreed with other canid species such as timber wolf, red fox, gray wolf, and even domestic dogs. Dogs have more wolf ancestry than modern humans. It is suspected that a genetic contribution for larger size may be inherited from the animals that this hybrid breeds with. Some people describe this animal as being aggressive. Eastern Coyote has been in contact with domesticated dogs for many years while it was left alone in the forest after wolves were shot down because they preyed on livestock. Therefore, some believe that the Eastern Coyote was a hybrid between wolves and dogs. The breeding of the Eastern Coyote with dogs allowed it to adapt to different environments, resulting in better survival skills. It has been reported that a number of Eastern Coyotes that were captured in the East had DNA tests done. The results came back as being a hybrid between a wolf, coyote, and dog, which means some of their features are due to genetic engineering from dogs. Eastern Coyote was first discovered near Philadelphia, but has since spread to other states such as Connecticut and Rhode Island. The general characteristics of the Eastern Coyote include larger size, longer fur like a husky, broad snout indicating possible descent from wolves, wider skull and ears than coyotes, and an overall North American canid's appearance. Number 9. Tigon a tigon is a hybrid offspring of a male tiger and a female lion. In contrast to ligers, which are almost always infertile due to two different types of chromosomes, tigons can often produce normal offspring of their own, resulting from a male tiger and a female lion. Tigons measure over three feet tall when standing on all fours or grow up to six feet long. The average weight of a tigon is between 300 and 420 pounds. Tigons share many attributes with both its parents. However, it has the build and coloring of a tiger. Its fur is yellow, white, and black stripes on top, but tawny yellow underneath. Its facial features are like that of a lion. It has its father's whiskers and large lips. Most often, tigons have a long tail like their father's, but sometimes shorter than normal. At birth, tigon cubs weigh anywhere from six to 11 pounds, depending on how big the mothers are themselves. Number eight, Leopon. The Leopon is a hybrid offspring between a male leopard and a female lion. Because it is almost always impossible for two extremely different large cat species, such as lions and leopards, to mate with each other, thus producing offspring. Leopons can only be produced in captivity through artificial insemination or embryo transfer when a female leopard is artificially inseminated with semen from male lions. However, this has only been successful on rare occasions. The first ever recorded successful Leopon birth was in May 2005 at the Cincinnati Zoo. The first two Leopons ever recorded were produced by Dr. Marty Miller and his team of 17 researchers. Number 7. Mule the mule is one of several common hybrid animals bred in captivity today. It happens to be one of the oldest hybrid breeds believed to originate from ancient China around 2400 BC. A mule is a result of breeding between a horse and a donkey. Unlike most other hybrids, mules can be fertile and even give birth to live offspring. The first documented mule was born in 1448 BC, which means there have been plenty of generations for this unique creature to flourish since then. Mules have very distinctive features, they are usually tall and sturdy, have long thick legs, wide and muscular bodies with relatively large heads. The size of their ears can be dependent on the environments they were bred in. There are some that have longer ears while others have shorter ears which fold over when they grow to maturity. Their tail is almost half their body length but tends to become smaller as the animal ages. Mules come in many different shades just like horses do too. Their coat color ranges from light brown to gray all along to black or even white. It's hard telling where their dormant gene came from, so now you might never know what you're getting until the mule grows up to be an adult. Number six, Cama. The Cama is a camelid created by breeding a dromedary camel with a llama. The name comes from the Spanish term for llama, which in turn was derived from guanaco. 
it's one of several types of camelid hybrids marketed under the trade name camel. To date, the only known successful attempts at breeding a camel was by the Shriners of North America during the 1950s. Since then, five more specimens have successfully been created and born. Unfortunately, none of these six camas have been able to breed on their own. All offspring were either stillborn or died shortly after birth. Camas are marked primarily as pack animals because they are less noisy than llamas and more loyal and tractable than camels. They can also mate with the other parent species, creating a llama cama that is considerably larger than either parent. The only known successful intercourse between a dromedary camel and a llama was in 2004 when a female llama successfully mated with an adult male dromedary. This has never before been accomplished by humans, although it's not unheard of. While Wild camels have been observed mating with feral llamas several times before. However, every attempt at artificial insemination has failed so far. Number 5. Wolfen a wolfen is a hybrid of a dolphin and a false killer whale. The word is a portmanteau combining whale with pino, an invented suffix that mimics porpoise. The first known case of this rare hybrid was discovered in June 1987 when an injured male bottlenose dolphin breached itself in Papaya Bay, near Tonga's capital of Nuku'alofa. After being rescued by locals, the animal was sent to live in the Oceanarium in Auckland, New Zealand, where it lived over seven years. It became known as the Paya Bay Dolphin. Later DNA analysis revealed that it was a hybrid between a male bong-nosed dolphin and a female false killer whale. The wolfen is one of the best documented examples of hybrid speciation in mammals. This animal shows how quickly hybrids can be generated between two distantly related species. Less than half a million years ago, the common ancestors of dolphins and orcas lived in the same area off the coast of Japan. As demonstrated by the wolfen, although cetacean species diverged millions of years ago, they're still capable of mating with another species and producing offspring. The wolfen's case demonstrates how easily hybrids can emerge when closely related animal species come into contact with one another. However, they rarely survive for long periods of time as they do not enjoy any evolutionary advantages over their parents' parental lineages. Number 4. Zebroid A zebra horse is a cross-section between a zebra and any member of the genus Equus, example either a horse or a donkey. These hybrids are sometimes bred in captivity for their unique appearance. The most common crosses are with the donkey, which combines elements of each parent's markings to produce an animal that appears striped from angles but has large blotches like those found on zebras from other angles. Zebracoline zebra donkey hybrids have also been reported, though these are rare. Number 3. Savannah Cat The Savannah Cat was born when a domestic feline mother was bred with a feral African serval tomcat. The first litter has been recently born through embryo transfer technology at the Little Rock Zoo in Arkansas, and as they have grown up, it has been shown that they can be trained easier than both their parents' breeds. This new breed of cat can grow as large as 10 kilograms, but they are able to jump as high as 10 feet, like their serval parent. The Savannah Cat is very energetic, curious, and active. They require much more human interaction than other domestic cats and will get bored without it. They are also very social with other pets and should be kept in groups. This character makes them unlikely to become feral, but the serval gene makes them aggressive towards dogs, so it is recommended that they only be allowed to freely interact with dogs if under supervision by their owner. Their size makes them hard to handle for small children. The Savannah Cat's coat needs brushing every one to two days to prevent matting. The serval parent spots are not visible on the hybrid's coat because they have been hidden by the tabby gene. Some breeders claim that the lack of these spots improves the chances of serval offspring surviving in the wild because they are more difficult to be spotted by predators. The Savannah Cat's life expectancy of 15 years is extended due to their health and robustness. The life expectancy of domestic cats is around 12 to 14, while the serval is between 8 to 10 years. Their size, hunting instincts, and curiosity make them fun but demanding pets. However, it must be remembered that as they grow from kittens to adult cats, they can no longer be handled like domestic cats. They also show great interest in water and love being near swimming pools or bathtubs. The interaction with humans has led breeders to believe that savannas enjoy dog playmates. Number 2. Growler Bear A growler bear is the result of breeding a polar bear and a grizzly bear. They are also known as pizzlies. The combination of the two bears means that the growler bear sports a white fur, but they have longer necks and larger bodies than polar bears, with shorter hair than their brown furred cousins. Growler bears are found in the wild, though they are not frequently spotted. However, there are captive growler bears at several zoos across the world. Two live in the Toledo Zoo in Ohio. 
In captivity and breeding programs, it has been discovered that male growler bears are fertile while female hybrids are sterile. Male offspring have also been found to be fertile, but females from an inbred lineage were unexpectedly infertile despite having normal ovaries. When first conceived, of as a hybrid species, the idea was to create a genuine polar bear with increased fertility for zoo populations. Polar bears do very poorly in captivity, so there's little chance of them being bred successfully in zoos. In this sense, the growler bear has become a success. Before we head on to our number one entry, here are some honorable mentions. Lilliger, male lion and female liger. Sturtlefish, American paddlefish and Russian sturgeon. Buckfast bee a cross of many different subspecies of honeybee. Fujian pond turtle, golden coin turtle, and Asian yellow pond turtle. Number one, liger. The liger is a cross between a male lion and a tigress. They are the largest known cats today with an average body weight between 660 and 810 pounds, though it can go up to 1200 pounds on rare occasions. Ligers look like gigantic versions of their parents, having a longer body length than either parent species. Their larger size makes them unmistakable to other species as they have been bred in captivity only since the late 19th century. Ligers tend to live about 15 years less than either parent breeds, though they have managed to breed for as many as 35 years. So there you have it, 10 of the most amazing animal hybrids that actually exist. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about all our latest videos.